Today on BRS TV, how did the Pentair Smart UVs earn that BRS recommended stamp of approval? The BRS recommended tag means either they're a great value at a price point or just something truly unique. In this case, Pentair UV sterilizers earn that best in class designation. So good that they're currently the only large form factor UV sterilizers that we choose to stock. There are two elements to that designation. The tool is capable of doing the desired task and they make it easy to achieve that desired result. First, Pentair is a global thought leader in everything ranging from industrial water purification, household drinking, aquaculture, and disinfection. So they're not just hobby tools, but tools used by a wide range of industries. In our case, they help control undesirable pests in the reef tank as designed, meaning they help control or even better prevent the initial outbreak or spread of many algae, bacterial blooms that cloud the water, bacterial slime, cyanodinos, and used properly, I strongly believe, a component of an overall approach to protecting your fish from common fish disease and parasites. So outside of the tool producing the desired results, it also has to be reasonably easy to select the right one and set it up correctly. Based on the guidance from Pentair, we have clear ratings in the BRS site for the right wattage and for the right size tank. The most common being a 25 watt rated up to 130 gallon tank and a 40 watt rated up to a 260 gallon tank. There's no need to go bigger than suggested to achieve the desired results. This direction is correct. That said, there's no harm in going bigger than suggested. Just never go lower or it won't work. This part is one of the biggest differentiators. There's very clear guidance on flow rates to the intended purpose. Flow rate is both contact time with the UV light as well as how many times a day the water passes through the sterilizer. For example, if your goal is to protect your fish from disease or parasites, the flow rate should be about 79 to 131 gallons per hour on a tank up to 131 gallons and stated on the 25 watt UV sterilizer. However, if your goal is to control or prevent the spread of bacterial blooms, cloudy water, cyanodinos, and many algae, the flow rate should be six times that from 472 to 788 gallons an hour. It just doesn't take as much contact time to properly sterilize these simpler organisms and the water passing through the filter as much as six times more often is optimized for simpler organisms which have much faster reproductive cycles. And that flow range of 79 to 131 or 472 to 788 being based on how dirty your water is and the ability of the UV light to transmit. If you regularly use activated carbon and have pristine water clarity, the higher flow rates will produce the best results. If you don't use carbon and do fewer water changes, your water probably has some yellowing pigments in it and the slower flow rate within those ranges for the intended use is probably wise. So this brings up the question of how do you set the sterilizer up if you want to achieve all of these goals when they're too flow and turnover rates and the answer is you can't. You have to pick one goal and set it up for that. So the bacteria and algae flow rates won't protect the fish and the protozoa and fish parasite flow rates won't filter the water fast enough to prevent algae or bacterial issues. So you have to pick your primary goal to achieve it. I think today most reefers primary goal is to skip or reduce the ugly phase of most tanks and prevent that bacterial and algae pests that make the tank look ugly and add to maintenance so it's probably the way that most people will set it up. However, if you want both goals on your system, the best option is probably use two units with flow rates optimized to each goal. That said, there is potential to be able to achieve both goals with one unit if you significantly oversize a unit and go with one of those high output systems where you can run much higher flow rates and still kill the protozoa properly. One of the other key differentiators here between Pentair and all the others is these recommendations are all based off end of bulb life, meaning it will perform as intended for the entire length of 9,000 or one year bulb life. The story here is clear, direct guidance for the intended or desired purpose and the ability to achieve it is why these units are BRS recommended. I do want to throw a couple other considerations on UV here. First, they're way better at preventing the issue to begin with. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, so it's best installed day one. You can install them when you already have an issue, but in this case, it'll be part of the pound of cure, not the entire cure. It will simply make all of your other efforts more effective. These units are big and they have to be to work, so check out the dimensions before you buy one to make sure it'll really fit. This quick link here has all the dimensions and all the other details as well as user reviews, so check it out. 